a very nice looking swimming spot right there but I'm going to continue around the corner there see what's there this is sort of the suburbs of Idra town Idra or Hydra so while I'm walking along with all my stuff I thought that I would talk about all my stuff so uh, I am certainly carrying more than I would prefer two reasons for that one is that I'm a digital nomad and I have a laptop and four cameras they're all small cameras but uh, it adds up the charging cable and whatnot the other reason is actually there are three reasons the other reason is that I am somewhat prepared for colder weather because even though I'm traveling in Europe in summer and planning to most likely just stay in Europe on this trip I'm considering going to some mountainous areas, the Alps, and also northern Europe, maybe like northern Norway, perhaps back to Iceland, maybe the Faroe Islands or Greenland. I want to keep the options open and be prepared to go to uh, somewhere that's going to be less sunny and warm than here and not have to buy a bunch of new gear. It's not a lot of stuff. I would need to buy shoes because I just have the uh, sandals, one pair and another pair of slip-on leather sandals in the bag here. But I have socks and sweats that can be long underwear and jeans and a warm hat and various other things. So that is uh, the second reason. The third reason is my shirt addiction. Okay, there are actually two more reasons why. The third is my shirt addiction and liking to have multiple colorful shirts. Partly it is for your benefit so that you don't have to see me wearing the same shirt all the time. I could just travel with, you know, two white t-shirts or a white t-shirt and a blue t-shirt or whatever. But uh, partly I just, you know, like having different things to wear and uh, I think it's better for the videos to have something, you know, a little little colorful to uh, look at. I managed to uh, leave behind a bunch of the shirts that I had bought in Asia when I was back in the US a month ago and so I have less of these shirts than I had at the end of that last trip. But uh, anyways, that is the third reason. The fourth is I have three books in here, not big ones, like medium-sized ones, that uh, I haven't read hardly at all, but it is an aspiration of mine to uh, do some reading on this trip. So all of that adds up, but really it isn't, uh, you know, terrible. Here I am hiking along with it. It's uh, tolerable. Now I wanted to... Uh, explain the two bags because some people have suggested why don't you just have like one larger backpack that you can fit everything into so having the two bags is like critical for my traveling experience because i put all of the most essential stuff in here my laptop my cameras three out of four one is uh, in there. My phone, my wallet, my passport, all of the stuff that if I lose it, I'm really screwed. And that way, when I get on the ferry, I get on the plane, I get on the bus, the train, I can drop the big backpack in the luggage area, go to my seat with this and have all the most important stuff with me and just ready to go not having to like pull stuff out rearrange whatever it's just you know drop this take this and always make sure that this is you know in my sight within reach etc and just don't let it disappear because there goes everything another nice swimming spot there it looks like oh man that water is looking so freaking nice and then another great uh, 
restaurant in the shade there. So, uh, I'm definitely glad that I made the choice to uh, stop here again because this is really the nice area. Walking along here, coming to another little harbor it looks like. And then sort of neighborhoods back there. Oh, and there's a uh, castle. What a great spot to have lunch. Probably this is more in the evening when the sun goes down and then otherwise you can sit under the shade there. Codilenias. This water is perfect. Look at that. So for anyone who happened to notice that these goggles are different from the ones in a previous video that I mentioned I was trying out for the first time and they were getting water in them, First of all, I readjusted those goggles, tightened them up a bit, and they were working better after that. But uh, I actually have three pairs of swim goggles with me in my backpack. So there's number five reason, although these things are, you know, practically weightless. But uh, basically I bought two new pairs back in the US when I was at a sporting goods store, just because you never know how well they're going to work. And it's good to have a backup pair just in case and just you know find out which one works the best and then later after I bought those two pairs when I was packing my stuff I came across another pair of goggles that I'd had last uh, year and so I bought those as well in order to just test all three out see which one works the best a few fish down there. Some little ones and some little bit bigger ones. 